and we're back with another Tibas tutorial where I start, you know, learning new combos and testing new characters and I talk about it from the perspective of being a complete new beta combo. This time around, we're gonna be looking at Game Crashed. Shumagorav, but of course. Specifically, we're gonna be looking at this combo, see if I can fucking hit it first try as... Oh well, that's a complete nope. Okay, 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 okay. See if we can hit this last part. Ah, oh, I missed it. You could just do that and then another super, okay? So this is partially what we're going to look at today. The first thing I want to say about Shuma is he's way different than what I thought originally. When you see these kinds of combos, to me at least, this guy looks pretty fast. It feels like you can be schmooving. And to some extent you can. Like the back dash is super quick, but the forward dash... Slower than than, it, than you would actually think. The same with the, like, the air dash is you would assume he's like... Fast as moving forward, but that's not the case at all. Or at least, <laughs> I still haven't even played a single match with him yet, so, you know, bear with me. Okay, so what do you want to do? You want to do light, medium, heavy. And this is the first thing that's unique about Shuma, is that this heavy is jump cancelable. Okay? So, the combo I originally learned was doing a medium first into this, like, um, yeah, the ball. I can't, I don't know, I'm, I'm not gonna look it up, the ball. Let's just call it spike, spike ball. Um, but then later I found out that you can just do, like, one of these instantly. Now you will notice, <laughs> and this is going to be a reoccurring thing with Shuma, is that there's so much that looks pretty fast, but there's a delay to, like, almost everything you need to do with this guy in order for a combo not to drop, okay? There's plenty of cases where, where you need to do this. So, for example, if you do this one too fast... Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm not, I can't even be doing it now, but basically, if you do it low to the ground, what ends up happening is the character falls too low. So, uh, I didn't show you the full combo. The full combo would be you do one of these into one of into like a down H, which, and I switched size there, which is exactly what you don't want to happen. Here it was too low, so I, I, I didn't even have time to do it. So what you need to do is like, you need to jump, do it slightly later so that basically your opponent ends up higher, and now you can hit like a follow-up here, okay? So, do it a bit higher, like the higher kind of the better. Then you can do two of these. Uh, I cross sides, like there's so much random stuff with this character that I still don't know, you know? But you gotta do the first one pretty, pretty high up, pretty deep, so to speak. And here's the second problem. So now you're gonna come to this point where you got a whole charge, which is a problem in itself, obviously, with Shuma. If, if you don't like charge characters, do not play this character. But there's a different problem now. So whilst you're doing this one, you're holding charge, you're holding down, back, or whatever. And now, you could potentially do like a down H like this into just like the eyes, which is just letting go forward and pressing, you know, light. But if you do two of these bad boys in a row, uh, the, the down H is simply too slow or like the character is too low to the ground to like consistently hit it. So what you want to do is you want to utilize your me medium. And here's like one of, one of the other issues then. This, this standing medium is two hits. But if you hit both of those hits, I tend to find that the character like flies way too far away from you. I'll, I'll see if I, can, if, if I can demonstrate this. Whatever, what ends up happening is that you basically, you try to do this, you do the two hits, and now he's like slightly too high up. It doesn't matter right now, but when you do like the S, you're gonna do medium, medium, H down. If he's too high up, that S, like when he turns into a stone, can tend to miss sometimes. Uh, so <laughs> this is the, like the first issue with this combo, is that you want to do like the single hit one. So I do like, like, you gotta be holding charge, you gotta stand up and walk backwards, you gotta hit M. And you only got to do 
the first hit of it. There was the two hits. So what I tend to do is, come on, like that. Because that guarantees that, like, Virgil is slightly closer to me, uh, making the follow-up slightly easier. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here, so... Okay, so let's recap a bit. With Shuma, you can either go for, like, the one rep combo, which is something like that, or the two rep combo, which is, you know, the two spike balls. Which, see if I can even get it to fucking hit. Ah, okay, there he was too low to the ground. But in both of these scenarios, it's good if you do like the single hit um, med standing medium because otherwise they just end up going too high. Okay, so you do the one rep or the two rep, what do you do next? Okay, so after the, you know, eyes, you, you're supposed to go up here, okay? So what I recommend you to do, you, you separate this into three steps. The first step is you, you try to do these loops with the spike balls, and the second rep, you just start off by holding charge like this. You press H, and then you let it rip with the eyes, and then medium, medium, heavy, and down. Let's see if I can demonstrate. Oh, whoops. Okay. And there's another problem right there then. So, as, as Virgil is exploding in this scenario, you need to time the H so that it's a meaty, basically. You want him to, like, explode into your hands and not react to the explosion. Let me demonstrate how this will look. So if you just go and you wait for the explosion and then you do this, he's way too high up. So you gotta, like, time it so that the fingers are out there and he explodes into the fingers and then, like, he's perfectly caught by his tentacles and then you shoot the eyes, you know? Let's try it again. Something like that, right? So what do you do then? After this first rep, uh, so you, 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 do the, you wait for the explosion, you do the tentacles, you do the eyes, now you just go H and then S. Later in the combo, this part will be it's still like one of the demons for me because like if if you do the full combos like two spike ball reps and then you do this whole thing of like oh, blah 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 explosion and then you catch him with the fingers that part is like tends to really be finicky to hit for some ever for whatever reason just because it's like the hit stun isn't there anymore i'll show you it's much easier here so you do this part fingers h and now you're holding charge and you're gonna let this uh, this eye laser rip. And this is something that I noticed too. Like if you do this part too fast, that's not good for you, okay? You want to kind of delay the laser a bit, more than you would maybe think when you, <laughs> when you start doing this combo. Delay it slightly, up, do the eyes. Okay, I missed the eyes, damn it. Oh, come on, man. Come on, Timo, you can do it. There we go. Now this laser is... Okay, we found another finicky part of this combo, right? You saw that the laser missed. It's all connected, man. It's like... You do something strange at some point... And then it just ends up, you know, becoming a problem down the line. Ah, oh, there we saw the there we saw the issue with that part as well. You see what I mean? You you do the H and then S, but for whatever reason, this S does not have the greatest hitbox uh, horizontally. Uh, also, like, uh, I, I wouldn't expect that just looking at this thing. It kind of looks like it catches pretty good, but <laughs> as you just saw, like, if he's too high up, you know, and if you do, and even if you accidentally do, like, the up H like this, come on. You see, like, it whiffs. That's another problem with Shuma. So what you t tend to want to do is you want to do H kind of early and then, like, slightly delay and then do the S. So, like... You see, like, do the do the H as you're coming up, slightly pass him a bit, and then do the S. <laughs> oh, man. So many traps with these characters when you try to learn this combo, man. 
And clearly I'm still not there to where I can just like, you know, very easily just do this. Let's see if this works. Come on, explosion. Ah, okay. So why didn't that connect now? <laughs> it was probably because with this eye thingy, you can you see how many eyes you put on him? Here's like six hits. Da 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 da. But sometimes when you do this combo. I know it's still six, right? Yeah. But as I did in that combo previously, if you hit these eyes like when when your opponent is way too high up in the air, not all of them will necessarily hit. So then you maybe end up with the situation that I had there, which was you just have one eye on your enemy character and then you only get one explosion so you basically get less time to do a follow-up ah oh, see here you have two eyes now so probably this is gonna be tight yeah it's it, it was a bit too tight so what did i do wrong again i did like the eyes pretty pretty fast after the eye laser thing right well that was slightly too fast so what i should have done I should delay this part of sending the eyes. Okay, there I hit like two eyes. Also a bit too fast. Oh, that's so awkward. This character is so awkward, man. Let's do it again. I did the H too late. Did the H too early. Just right. See if I can hit this. Okay, now I hit like six eyes or whatever. See if I can get it. Yeah, there we go. And that's the last part of the combo. So what you will find is that like each of these, let's call them three segments. The first segment doing like the ball, the ball part, right? Which is this part. That's the first segment you need to learn. The second segment you need to learn is that you push them with this combo, with the with the spike balls, you push them to the corner, and then you start applying this part where you do the down edge into the charge, and then down, get the fingers out, do all this part, and then the third part, which is, for me, probably still the most tricky, is if you do the full combo with the two balls into this whole scenario, this part tends to whiff. I'll see if I can demonstrate that right now for you. Nope. Dang it. Okay, watch me whiff this. Oh, I did it! But I did the laser too early. Oh, God, that's... You guys noticed that, right? So I did the up laser like this. But since I did it too early, Virgil, because of the hit stun that is left now, and like went out of the combo, and then the bombs exploded. So what I should have done, after I hit this part, which is the hard part for me, I should have done this part slightly slower. It's like less time, or Virgil should have spent more time on the ground before I did it. Because then the bombs would have exploded right as the laser is done. <sighs> yeah. I guess those were all the those were all the pitfalls. I think I've uh, I think I've tried to demonstrate them quite clearly, and hopefully this will help you become a better Schumer, or at least give you some sort of. Uh, uh, guide into trying this this combo so that you know I mean because it is quite a fun combo so I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to actually utilizing it but there was a lot of pitfalls with this one and especially Shuma being like a oh god that missed too so much finickiness there we go Jesus Christ into this. Oh, I, for I forgot what to do there. I, I think what I wanted to demonstrate is that actually after the first super is done and he explodes, you can also do like a level 3 there, which looks pretty nice. Okay, again, uh, with uh, like how to with Shuma or whatever, please don't uh, direct any, any more... Uh, 
you know, questions my way because I haven't even picked him up in a game yet. I just wanted to demonstrate what kind of pitfalls there were with combos. And I think I've done so adequately. So, bye.